So, have you ever been to an escape room? No, and they sound really lame. I no, I remember you you and I having a conversation, a long conversation about that when we were waiting in line for the NES, the NES Classic because at Toys R Us because we it was right one there. In front yeah. Of, yeah, yeah. And I think we both said that we thought they sound. Did you say? You said it sounded interesting, right? It sounded interesting. Yeah. I've actually been to one. Just uh, it was for like a, a work situation thing mm-hmm. where I did it with coworkers. Yeah. Um, we didn't get through it. Was it fun? They're tough. It, it's yeah. a little bit. It's a little bit too tough to be fun. But I think right. the, the, they they usually follow a formula, and if you crack the formula, you can pretty much get through any of them. I think the reason that I, I say they're dumb and I don't care is because it just sounds way too stressful for me. Honestly, I, it sounds really stressful and not fun. It, uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how it is. <clears throat> like now, I'll just play a puzzle game on my computer if I wanted, which isn't even true. my thing, anyways. It's but like, it, it it is kind of neat to see what they do, how they make the how they actually create the environment. That, yeah, that that's neat to appreciate. But actually playing the game is like you don't really have time to do that. Right. So um, escape rooms, as far as video games go, there we talked about this a long time ago. I want to, I want to say it's probably the Zelda thing, the Zelda yeah. one that was it was supposed to be Zelda escape. Is that here? Room. Is that a, is that a thing yet? So here's what happened with that. Here's no. the lowdown. It wasn't really an escape room of sorts. It was more like an escape game where people were. It, by the way, super expensive. We're talking. I think it was somewhere around fifty dollars a person. Yeah, this was like it didn't like travel around the U.S. for a little bit. Um, it went to like just the major major cities. Like it didn't come New York, anywhere near us. Yeah, uh, New Los York, Angeles. Los Angeles, that that kind of stuff. Um, but this. It was so dumb because, like, you basically just all went into a room and your te- as teams you went to a to a table and you were given clues at the tables that you just basically sat there and figured something out and you had like a, a either some kind of notebook to like go through and fit and figure out clues and stuff. And it was just dumb. But it was they- Zelda themed. Yeah, it was Zelda themed, and and you were everyone was supposed to get a link cap. And they only had enough for like one person per table. It was so bad. Like hmm. the, yeah, sounds I, like the wrong person headed that whole thing up. Or yeah, they just got the wrong got company. Mismanaged yeah, to- total mismanagement. But this sounds interesting because it's not in America. <laughs> As we said, Japan gets the best stuff. Yeah, and it may not even be a, an escape room, but I mean that's kind of the closest thing to, yeah, it that sounds... it comes to. Metal Gear Solid is having a. Um, as described by uh, Kotaku.com on their website, as a Metal Gear Solid themed real life stealth game that's going to uh, some be held in uh, Tokyo Shinjuku. So, yeah, apparently you're not really solving puzzles per right. se, but you're trying to sneak into the Shadow Moses space, which is from the original Metal Gear Solid game. Um, you will have clues to help you, so. It does share that with with the escape games, mm-hmm. um, but you're going to have guards that you need to sneak around, and if they yeah. spot you, they will, of course, fire fire their right. rifles at you. But you're Pink wearing, yeah, it's That'd it's kind of like a laser tag, but you don't have a gun. This doesn't really sound very interesting. That I think well, like my, the details on this are weird to me because, like, how would they not find you? Right, They're, that's literally their job is to walk around and just look around. Yeah, and and all the You're, all of the photos that I'm seeing about this just kind of look like the, all the areas are very well lit, and and they look not so big. So they're gonna hear you scuffling around. It's not like you're given. Yeah, like, I don't know. What, like it's know. fake, right? They they know you're there. Just yeah, I guess they're you. just gonna have to, or they could just pretend like they're the game uh, guards, where they're very dumb and like they they can't turn their necks. Yeah, they'll <laughs> they'll say, "What was that noise?" Like there has to be a specific noise that they that alerts them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that ex- exclamation mark, yeah. which are apparently in the game. I don't know how that works. And also, you can even hide in a cardboard box to hide from these guards. Oh, like in the game. Yeah, just nice. like Snake does. So. It, it's a neat idea. I mean, I, I think, number one, like we were talking, the reason why I opened with the escape game is it's either too hard or it's too easy. If you know right. how to do it, you know how to do it. 
Um, mm-hmm. You just look for patterns and that kind of thing. Um, or you just you can't do it and you don't have fun. I feel like either way, you don't have fun. So um, With escape I, games. With escape games. But I would like to see kind of like I maybe not call them escape games but maybe call them like a live action game or a live game like this where maybe it's timed maybe it's not but it's kind of game themed or video game themed or even movie themed and it has to do with like could you imagine something based on Dragon Ball that was like this I have no like I just thought like Dragon Ball that, that that's an IP that a lot of people are familiar with but if you had like a Dragon Ball style thing like you just this just drop off some of your heavy bracelets and break through the wall something like that I guess <laughs> but uh, it, it but the whole thing is to make you feel like yeah. you're you know kind of going through an experience like this I mean yeah you could do I mean come on to have the sound effects and like things in the background it sounds like and... you're looking for an episode of Game Lab with Matt Pat oh is that what that's about <laughs> I was hoping you would have heard of that but yeah it was his YouTube red thing you, ru- uh, you ruin everything <laughs> you bring Matt Pat into ruins. no it was his YouTube red thing and like that's ruins literally it. literally what it was they made like games in real life like like um what's faith hill that game where you run around isn't the main character faith hill in that mirror's edge mirror's edge have you not heard of mirror's edge faith hill is a country music singer faith faith i think her name is faith but i don't think it's faith hill <laughs> Mary to faith. tim mcgraw right that's that's faith hill faith oh it's faith something not Hill. That was the, the autofill in my brain because that is a person. But anyways, like they make like games like come and come to like real life. Like they did it with Five Nights at Freddy's. Huh, that's kind um, of like you're in a room. Like they, they put Markiplier in a room and like Fred. Like it was it was I'm interesting. I'm surprised. I know that I think that they're still working on a movie, Five Nights at Freddy's movies, which we need to go see. By the way, yeah. When is that? I was, I was just about to say they're still working on it but it's supposed to be really scary like really? it's made by yeah it's made by like the top horror movie production it better house. be good because horror movies oh, okay her last name's connor so yeah there there is no actual last name that i was thinking of i was just it's just faith i guess yeah but um but uh, like if they're making a movie i feel like either yeah. universal or someone needs to buy the rights to like make an attraction somewhere Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah. Yeah, well, because people are really into those houses, those yeah, haunted like houses, for house. some reason. But, but, okay, but the movie, like, horror movies have been terrible lately. Like, they've just been, like, sounds and jump scares. Like, bad, predictable jump scares. It better not be that. It better yeah. be, like, actually scary. But the game centers around jump scares. I know. And jump scares can be done right. But they need to not yeah. be really predictable, and that, that needs to not be the only fear factor. Like there needs, to, you know what I mean? Like a it needs creepy, to be tension. Like, well, yeah, well, there's tension. a lot of tension in those games, right? Like too. Um, a Quiet Place. Have you ever seen? Have you seen a Quiet Place? No, I don't watch a whole lot of horror to be honest. It's really not like horror. It's more. Suspense, it's really suspenseful. Yeah, yeah, like stuff like that. Um, because like it. I remember like I saw it last year, and I saw mm. it again recently. It's a good movie, but as far as I saw the original, right. I saw that too. It's garbage. Uh, um, uh, oh, uh, dude, that was brutal. <laughs> the second half, so boring. There was like a 10 minute scene of them sitting around a table eating dinner and nothing happened. <laughs> but anyways, like it's a good movie, It the new, the new one, but like from a horror movie standpoint, it really never scared me that much. Yeah. So like, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's, that'll be fun to talk about when that rolls around. Yeah, but, not just yeah. a mo- not just a movie, but yeah, like a horror making something like this house type deal. That would be that could be interesting. That would be so. Yeah, like Metal Gear Solid. That's a good start. Bring it here, see if right. it's successful, and look at some other IPs too. Mm-hmm. Why not? 